Good morning from Saigon, Vietnam. Hope you have an amazing day. Um, in large cities like Saigon or Bangkok, one of the ways you can have a meal or snack is to go to a convenience store. So I thought it'd be fun to show you guys what's available here at the Saigon, Vietnam uh, 7-Eleven. So let's go inside and check it out. Wow, right when you walk in, you got a lot of uh, good food. Some prepared foods here. Oh my goodness. Got some jellies and some drinks. Wow, some drinks here. The beer, sodas. Oh, they have liquor here. Also, you can get the soju. Look at that. Oh, big selection of ice cream. They have a big chip section. They have a lot of ramen. You got your coffees here. Also some crackers and snacks. This section here looks like you got some candy. You got some rice dishes here. Ooh, there we go. It's a chashu pork rice. Try that. So I got the onigiri here. Looks good. Spicy chicken here, you got black pepper rice. Also got some bowls down here. Huh, they have bean bop. Huh. Oh look at that. They even have Japanese udon. Good selection. A lot of noodles down here. This looks like looks like chapche, but I don't know if it's chapche. It has beef in there. Pretty close though. <laughs> also they got sandwiches here. Ooh. You gotta try the 7-Eleven uh, egg salad sandwich, of course. Really popular. All right, guys. I think we need to get a little dessert here. This looks like flan. Oh, this flan. Cool, we'll get that. And also, I don't know what this is. It looks like flan, but it looks like blueberry flan. I don't know, let's try it out. Oh, this is a really popular che. Let me try some of that, huh? Popular dessert. Looks like jellies. Their jellies. Really popular here. Oh, look at that. They also have kimchi. It looks like they have a lot of different lays here. They have a Brazilian uh, barbecue Brazil <laughs> and some uh, shrimp, looks like. Oh, they have some truffle. And oh, Bo Wagyu. Let's try that one. There you go. Also, they have some steak here and some sushi chips. Oh, they have the popular honey butter chips here. That's pretty popular in Korea. Okay, I think I'm gonna also try the truffle. These are two premier, I guess, kinds of lay chips, so let's give these a try. So depending upon the day, I guess you can choose the different bami they have here. And the different meals. They have chicken, they have burgers, they have um, skewers, they have hot dogs. A lot of different food here. Also they have a lot of drinks down here too. Oh, they have the calamansi tea. That's gonna be really popular here. I think we'll try calamansi tea drink as well. Okay, we got all our stuff now. We'll go back to the hotel and uh, dig in. All right guys, here we are. We're back at the hotel and we're here in the lobby area. And we wanted to show you guys this uh, 7-Eleven food. It's a lot of food. They also had stuff they had teed up for us. So we had uh, banh mi they actually made there in 7-Eleven, which is awesome. Also they heated up some skewers for us, we made that. And uh, some bao and some sweet baos. Yeah, we got a lot of food here. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you this food. A big banh mi. And um, yeah, this is good looking banh mi. So let's go ahead and try this while it's still fresh. It looks like the, uh, the pork pork sausage, the thit nung on me. Mmm. Mm. 
wasn't bad. I think it was like around twenty nine thousand dollars. You can buy me on the street for about thirty thousand dollars. So if you're in a rush, Seven Eleven spot me is not bad. Mm. <laughs> the ingredients are real good. Yeah, pork in here. Oh, it's a cucumber and some cilantro. Yeah, it's really good. Okay, we have bao here. In the bao here, I got the big <laughs> white one here. It, this is chashu and pork, right? Look at that. Looks really good. Let's go ahead and take a bite of this. This is really soft. Oh, I love bao. Mmm. Oh, yeah. And chashu tastes so good. Sweet. And porky. <laughs> and the bread is so soft. Look at this. Also, I need to try. I got some calamansi tea. Really popular here. Calamansi, like little limes. Ooh, really good. It's a little sweet, a little fragrant, a little citrusy. Mm. Oh, so refreshing. This is the kind of tea you want on a hot day. It's kind of really gives you. Uh, recharge and refreshing so yeah okay we also have this other bow it's a, it's a little yellow right and it's a cheesy chicken so i've never heard of this kind of bow before but let's give it a try Ooh, see that it has cheese in there okay. mm. Mm. wow mm. I think if this would've came right out of the oven, it would be a lot better because the cheese got kind of hard from our walk back to the hotel. But the flavor, oh, squishy bun with the cheese. Mm. Oh yeah. Same with this red sauce. So let's go ahead and try this red sauce. I don't know if it's chili sauce or not. Let's try it. Yeah, spicy chili sauce. Ooh. This has kick to it. Oh man, this is so good together. Okay, I got two special kind of lays. I got I got the wagyu uh, lays. Also, I got the, the truffle. So two different kinds of chips. So we're gonna give these both a try. Here you go, guys. Wagyu lays. I've never seen these before, so I'm excited to try these. Yeah, it's very light flavor. It tastes good though, it's a good flavor. But is it the Wagyu? I don't know. Mm. Wagyu Lays, guys. Let me know if you've seen this in your um, country. I haven't seen this in the States, so. Really curious to know if you have this in your country. Mm. Real good. Good chips though. Okay, now these are our truffle. Lays. So let's give these a try. Let's see, they look like lace chips. Oh, actually, wow, they do taste like truffle. Mm. These are really good. Mm. Yeah, if you like truffle, I think you like these. The wagyu. Not as strong a flavor, but truffle? Ooh, what if they're using here? It tastes like truffle. These are really good chips. Mmm, oh yeah. All right, let's try one of these skewers. This uh, pork skewer has a scallion oil on it. So basically oil that has scallions in inside of it here, but um, let's try this pork skewer. Oh yeah. Mmm, this is really good. Scallion oil, yeah, that makes it. The pork is marinated already, but man, the scallion oil. Also, I have this um, pork meatball skewer. Let's give these a try. Mmm. Mmm. It's really, it's really fatty, but really juicy. It's tender. These good pork balls. Mmm. Very nice. All right, one more thing they got for us that's heated was this chashu. 
Um, so it's like take home, right? Like TV dinner, right? I wanted to try something with rice here, so let's give this a try. We got some rice, we got some chashu. They also have cucumbers in here too. All right, here we go. Big bite. Mmm. They're using the broken rice here. Mmm. The pork is still tender. Has good flavor. Mmm. Yeah, this is a great TV dinner. Mmm. I give recommend. Whenever I go to 7-Eleven, I have to get it when they get it. So, let's go ahead and open this up. Let's see if I can get this. I always mess this up. Ooh, yeah. Hold it here. Just wiggle it a little bit. <laughs> like that. And it'll release. The nori. There it goes. Bad. I think I did pretty good. I normally mess this up, so glad I got a chance to get this uh, Lonely Gator looking good. Here we go. Taste test. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, this is a good one. Yeah, this, this really has a good flavor. It has a like, like ginger flavor and kind of a pork flavor. Mm, this is really good. A little different from the normal fish uh, onigiri I get, so. All right, guys, we're making a good progress here. All right, we got the last thing here, the famous egg salad sandwich. Let's go ahead and open this up. 7-Eleven in Japan, really popular for this egg salad sandwich, so. Let's see if they do similar egg salad sandwich here in Vietnam. It doesn't look the same. It's a little weak. Let's try. Mm. Not the same, guys. <laughs> Not the same. Not bad. It's a little bit saltier. Mmm. I don't think they're using the cutie mayonnaise here, but also they have the bigger chunks of uh, egg whites in here. So definitely different from the Japanese one. The bread though is really soft, like the traditional egg salad sandwich you get from 7-Eleven. So not bad though. Mm. Yeah, 7-Eleven's not as popular here in uh, Vietnam as it's, it was in Thailand or in Bangkok. But there is, within walking distance, a seven minute walk down to our, from our hotel, we could reach 7-Eleven. So pretty convenient. Also, we're here going towards the desserts, and one of the popular desserts here is called Che. And it's basically like ice with the jellies, and the, um, I think there's a coconut cream in here as well. Let's give this a try. All right, guys, here it is. It has ice in here, and it also has these uh, little jelly noodles in here. I don't know if you see that. I'll show you these the, the jellies at the bottom. All right, let's give this Che a try. Mmm, yeah. It's like coconut milk. Oh yeah, a shaved coconut in the bottom. Mmm. All right guys, we're coming down to the wire. We got uh, four more things here. We got some bao, but these are more dessert bao. Let's go ahead and see if it opens up. Now, if you've never had bao before, just remember, bao always has paper on the bottom, okay? so. <laughs> Before you bite into that bao, make sure to remove the paper from the bottom of the bao. All right, let's open this up. All right, here we go, guys. Custard bao. Oh, mm-hmm, oh yeah. This custard is really good. Sweet, creamy, mmm. The bao bread, oh. So soft and fluffy. I can eat bows every day. Let's try this taro bow. Remember, paper in the bottom. All right, guys, let's try this. Mm. Mm. I love taro. It has this unique flavor, but the flavor is really, really good. But if I still compare what it's like, it's like a sweet potato. Mm, so good. Okay, we're coming down to the wire here. We have this purple, I don't know what dessert is, 
I thought this is a flan, right? So we got the flan here, and then we've got the purple thing next to it. So I think it's like a flan, but maybe not. We'll try it. Let's go ahead and try this and see how it tastes. Yep. Tastes like yogurt. Mmm. But there's blueberry mix in the bottom. It's really kind of gooey. It's almost like sticky rice gooey. Mmm. Mmm. Not as sweet as you think though. But yeah, whatever's on the bottom here, it's like sticky rice, but it's not rice. Oh yeah, pretty good. Very nice. Mmm. All right, and the final flan. Guys, look at this. This looks like some seriously good flan. Wow. Let's try this. <laughs> wow. Hello. This is a really good flan in such a small container. Oh, wow. Get the caramel at the bottom over here. Look at that. This jiggly flan. Oh, yeah. Wow. 7 Eleven flan here, guys. Really good. Mm. Oh, yeah. So, anyway, that's it. This is the last of the 7 Eleven uh, foods that we got here. I wanted to show you guys that in Vietnam, you can also go to 7 Eleven to have your lunch, brunch, dinner, whatever you want to have for a snack. So, if you liked the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and a like. And if you haven't subscribed already, be sure to subscribe. And uh, as always, I appreciate your support, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.